Ferdinand is thinking about Nina and his property as night falls when he hears a weird sound. When he looks to the side, he notices Bones wailing for Guapo and spends the night comforting him. The following morning, Ferdinand emerges from the stable to see El Primero monitoring the bull's train. But he can't take his mind off Guapo at the abattoir. Lupe approaches the distracted bull and attempts to urge him to train. But, while she is speaking, he notices a rabbit appear in front of the barrel that Angus intends to attack and hurries to try to stop him. Angus keeps going towards the barrel, not comprehending what Ferdinand is saying. This prompts Ferdinand to shove him away quickly. Ferdinand tries to stop before he reaches the rabbit, but he is unable to do it in time and must use his horns to avoid the small animal, who faints from fear after falling into a barrel of water on his horn. Ferdinand notices the unconscious rabbit and rushes over to help him. Lupe goes to Ferdinand and starts battling with him to concentrate on the fight when he realizes what his student has done. But the bull maintains that he dislikes fighting. Lupe advises Ferdinand to think of a bullfight as a dance in order to persuade him to change his mind. When they hear this, the trio of horses reappear and begin mocking the goat, claiming that bulls cannot dance. Ferdinand approaches the barrier and begins a spectacular tap dance, determined to prove them incorrect. When the horses observe Ferdinand's dance, they mock him and answer with a teen dance step. When they're done, Angus notices Ferdinand is alone against three other people and asks Lupe to regurgitate his harp so he may dance as well. The horses reply once more by dancing in a trio and finishing by making a heart with their bodies, while Ferdinand and Angus stare blankly. When it's the bull's turn again, the hedgehogs blast music from the electric fence, and Bones enters the fight by making breakdance moves. The bulls and horses are now competing in a street dance battle in three-on-three. Makina instantly decides to enter the competition and challenges the horse leader to a duel with his square backsides. The bulls easily humiliate their opponents with Makina in the fight. Knowing they are losing, the horses begin fighting amongst themselves until they come into contact with the fence and are electrocuted. Following the battle, the bulls approach the water trough to celebrate their triumph, but Valiente approaches them and tells them that bulls that do not fight are usually slaughtered. Knowing that this is not the case, Ferdinand claims that they are free to do whatever they want outside of there. However, Valiente responds that if Ferdinand was truly free, he would not have been returned to Casa del Toro. Following Valiente's advice, Bones and the others return to practice, leaving Ferdinand alone with Lupe. Along with her, the bull declares that he will flee that night and take her to meet Nina, which excites the goat. Ferdinand approaches the hedgehogs for assistance in carrying out his escape plot. However, they claim that the only way out is to walk through the house where the humans live. Out of choices, Ferdinand climbs out the window and into the garage, but lands on top of El Primero's automobile, which begins to make noise. When the staff hear the noises, they rush to the garage, and to save Ferdinand from being apprehended, the hedgehogs begin dancing to distract the humans. Ferdinand travels calmly through the house when the animals scare the servants away, until he sees a portrait of his father hanging on the wall, together with his horns. Looking up, Ferdinand notices dozens of other horned portraits on the wall and concludes that this is the fate of all bulls fighting in the arena. The hedgehogs have managed to open the exit door at this time, but Ferdinand decides to return to tell his comrades that the arena is merely another abattoir. Valiente, on the other hand, refuses to believe him and pushes him out of the stable, challenging him to a fight. When Ferdinand sees Valiente's dilemma, he refuses to fight and attempts to calm him down. But the bull refuses to listen and begins yanking him up till his horn is broken. El Primero, who was watching from the balcony at the time, chooses Ferdinand as his competitor in Madrid, while Mr. Moreno takes Valiente to the abattoir. Lupe, who is terrified that Valiente has been kidnapped, advises them to leave as quickly as possible. 
but Ferdinand insists on leaving only if everyone else, including Valiente, joins him. Outside, the hedgehogs entice the traitors into the stable and prepare a trap for them, knowing that the horses will alert the humans if they spot them. Makina chews the high-tension wire from the fence while the horses are absent, and the bulls rush to help secure the stable door. With the path free, Ferdinand exits Casa del Toro and heads towards the abattoir, where he finds Valiente dissatisfied within a pen. Ferdinand removes the cell door and attempts to persuade Valiente to escape, but he claims it is his fate and refuses to leave. Ferdinand resolves to try to save Guapo as he hears him begging for aid inside the abattoir. However, when he arrives, he ends up crossing through the infrared beam that activates the machines. With Guapo on the verge of being eliminated, Ferdinand pursues him and unsuccessfully attempts to stop the belt. Valiente dashes past him and places an iron bar in the center of the press, preventing Guapo from becoming a hamburger. Nonetheless, the machines continue to operate and remove Guapo. However, as they watch their companion being dragged away, another hook passes by and snags their trumpet. As a result, the three are immediately transferred to an ice machine, which freezes them and drops them onto a conveyor belt that leads to the garage. However, the bulls overspeed and crash outside the factory, straight into a rubbish can. They race down the hill together until they collide with Winner's truck. However, all of the ruckus wakes up the humans, causing them to evacuate as soon as possible. Lupe and the hedgehogs hurry into the driver's cab to get out as quickly as possible, while the bulls head to the back. The animals prepare to escape Casa del Toro, led by the hedgehogs. However, when they pass through the gate, the rabbit jumps in front of them again and faints from fear when he is almost run over, forcing Ferdinand to pick him up and place him in the back of the car. While the people pursue them, Makina utilizes the energy he gained from eating the fence to rub his paws together, creating a kind of defibrillator that causes the rabbit to wake up instantly. The animals arrive in Madrid after dodging the humans. They eventually catch up after being trapped in city traffic for hours. When he sees the pursuers, Ferdinand decides to flee along the rails, as he used to do when he was younger. However, they are pursued by the personnel all the way to the station. As soon as they arrive, Ferdinand assists one of the hedgehogs in boarding a wagon to locate the train. They learn that it has already left in this manner. To try to reach the locomotive, the bulls get together and push a manual wagon until it gains enough speed to dock with the railway. But, realizing that the humans will follow them, Ferdinand orders everyone to climb up and returns to stop them. However, he is apprehended. With Ferdinand safely returned, officials transport him to the Madrid Arena for the big occasion. However, while reporters are reporting the event, Juan sees the bull on TV and runs out with Nina to try to save him. As soon as El Primero enters the arena on the big day, a woman in the audience tosses a flower. However, the self-centered man simply throws the flower on the floor. At that point, El Primero orders his men to unlock the door, allowing Ferdinand to enter the arena and face the bull calmly. El Primero tries to entice him. When the bullfighter realizes Ferdinand does not want to fight, he orders his men to pierce the animal with spheres. Ferdinand dashes from one side of the arena to the other as he flees the humans, while El Primero dodges him. In a thoughtless moment, the bullfighter's crimson scarf becomes entangled in the bull's horns, blocking his eyesight. Ferdinand struggles from side to side without seeing as El Primero tries to reclaim the muleta, making him feel angry. The bullfighter eventually manages to keep the cloth after many attempts. But Ferdinand pulls back, causing El Primero to land on top of him. With the bullfighter mounted on the animal, Ferdinand begins to struggle until he knocks him out of the arena, further humiliating El Primero. The bullfighter, enraged, returns to the arena, armed with two sharp spears, ready to assault Ferdinand. However, the animal once again avoids the man. 
El Primero finally manages to hit Ferdinand after being humiliated repeatedly by the bull. The bull, enraged, grabs the bullfighter and prepares to attack him. But as he realizes he is walking on the flower thrown by the woman, he remembers who he is and eventually calms down, releasing El Primero. At this time, the bullfighter walks away gently, leaving Ferdinand to smell the flower. El Primero, on the other hand, returns with a blade and prepares to kill him. However, when Ferdinand sits down and refuses to fight, the entire audience begins to petition El Primero to let the bull live. The man, won over by the fans, greets Ferdinand and exits the arena. With the issue resolved, Nina invades the location and eventually catches up with Ferdinand, who is greeted with roses. Valiente and the other bulls come just then to assist Ferdinand. But they quickly realize that the event is ended and that the giant bull of the flower has triumphed. Mr. Moreno gives up Casa del Toro and sends Lupe, Ferdinand, and the others to live with Nina for the first time, allowing them to experience love and freedom for the first time. And with that, the movie ends, we'll see you in the next movie. Goodbye.